This is Dr. Dave Harvey. Today I'll be demonstrating a ring block or field block. The ring block is useful where direct infiltration into the surgical site should be avoided, where nerve blocks are not an option, and for larger surgical areas. They're especially useful for cyst excision, the removal of malignant melanoma, where direct injection of the tumor should be avoided, and for lipoma removal. Here we see how to perform a ring block on the back for a cyst. When commencing with the procedure, uh, the skin is stretched and the needle slowly advanced. A retrograde linear um, administration is performed, creating a nice and even um, line of anesthetic. The anesthetic is delivered one to two centimeters around the actual lesion and completed in a 360 degree format. Uh, this allows for a complete field effect to be accomplished. It's important with each subsequent injection to administer the anesthetic where previous delivery has been given for optimal patient comfort. Touch-up anesthesia can be then performed using buffered lidocaine. If one would like additional anesthetic duration, bupivacaine can subsequently be administered as we illustrate here. It's very important to wait five to 10 minutes after completing a ring block to commence with surgery, and this allows enough time for optimal hemostasis and anesthesia to take effect.